Thank you, Peter. Um, welcome all of you and uh, a hearty welcome from Chicago. It's it's raining here, so I'm, I'm presenting from home. Uh, but, um, but I would like to welcome all of you to, uh, to look at my talk. Uh, what I'll be presenting on today is uh, is a very uh, nice use of the Dynochem utilities which scale-up systems have provided in order to uh, provide some mixing analysis for a very exothermic reaction and, and how we were able to scale this up to different manufacturing sites. Uh, a special shout out to my colleagues Nikki and Samrat for uh, co-authoring this work with me. And the main motivation of this talk before I go into the details is we as process engineers are typically used to uh, uh, defining mixing intensity as basically just turbulence intensities or, or, or impeller RPMs or, or even power per unit volumes. Uh, I want to break this notion for, for process engineers wherein these, these, these quantities such as power per unit volume or power per unit mass, these are typically derived quantities and they come from more fundamental building blocks such as mixing time scales and its comparison with, with reaction time scales. And, and what I mean by stalling is the conversion would be less than expected. And even for even even when we stirred it for, for a longer time, the conversion would not progress with time. Then we were forced to add kicker charges of mesyl chloride in order to get the reaction to completion. However, there were some unknown side effects which, uh, which led to higher impurity generation. Moreover, um, this was an expected thing uh, that when we when we did this reaction in different reactors, we obtained variable yields. And as I mentioned, since this is a late stage project, we, we needed robustness in, in the reaction yield. So we, we knew our typical pilot plant operation from the reactor geometry and, and we know that we, we operate at around 90 RPM in, in the pilot plant. This is a 2000 liter vessel. And if you scale this down using uh, a constant meso mixing time scale from nanochem mixing utilities you can scale this down to a, a 250 ml chem glass reactor in which we found out that the impeller rpm needed to get me the same meso mixing time scale was around 110 rpm now uh, i can do this experiment in the lab and then i can measure conversion and i can get a, a sufficiently detailed scaled down model of what to expect in in the plant now using that as a nominal value now i can change the impeller rpm in separate experiments and, and get um, and get the and, and I can get conversion as a function of mixing time scales in a small scaled down chem glass reactor. And I feel this is very powerful because uh, you can hopefully detect problems in the lab and 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 mitigate it before you take it to the plant. And and Danochem mixing utilities help you in 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 designing those experiments. And while Danochem gives a uh, single point predictions very accurately, so hence. In this system, we were able to use Dynochem to, to completely characterize the physics for, of, of this reaction. So having said that, now let's return to our, our original plot of conversion of starting material as a function of meso mixing time scale. And once again, as I mentioned now, this is, uh, we were really confident that within the confines of my lab scale reactor and the pilot scale and manufacturing scale, it's it's truly a scale independent parameter. And then we can interpolate in between order, in order to get good estimates of the mixing time scale and ensure that the reaction is, is run properly. With this, uh, we can now elucidate a design space for, for, for mixing. Now, now, as I mentioned, the my, re my passing reaction completion was to be at least 98%. What this plot tells me that if I need to be at least 98% in my reaction conversion, my meso mixing time scales can be at most 0.4 seconds. It has to be less than 0.4 seconds. Uh, based on the analysis, yes, this system was not micro mixing limited, which means that power per unit volume would not have been a right scale up parameter. It's the meso mixing time scale, which is the right scale up parameter for, for this reaction and constancy of meso mixing time scale helps us in getting a successful reaction completion in at different reactors uh, in different manufacturing sites. And with that, we, we made successfully then transferred this process to manufacturing site and we prepared 300 kg batches uh, with, with very high conversion and a desired purity profile. And, and, and as a result, tech transfer to the manufacturing site, which is 500 uh, kg and above, uh, was was made much easier with with this analysis.